What's up, everyone? Welcome back to A Lion in the Stars. I'm Jordan, and we are here today with the finale of The Havoc Marauder. It's been a build. Um, it's interesting. Uh, as I sit here in front of this, I've done some work. Um, I'll get to what I've done here in just a second for the reason that I did so. Um, but this is the first model that I took on that wasn't a fan home model. And it's a little weird. It's a little bittersweet. I'm also seeing that my skills have improved quite a bit in just the last couple of months of doing this. Um, this model's a little janky, and uh, the paint's not the greatest. Uh, not super happy with everything, but the learning process during this model was key. Um, I now know how to airbrush really well. Um, I feel that, uh, you know, there's... You know, still a lot of skills to learn there, but I do airbrush really, really well these days. Um, you know, my ability to paint by hand has improved so much since I started recording this. Um, paying attention to proper glue, this model has four different types of glue on it. <laughs> Now that I think about it, this has been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I'm ready to move on to the next uh, Star Wars project. And uh, I think you guys are really going to like that one. Um, but I'm ready to kind of move on from this one a little bit. Uh, you know, I'm ready to look at it. There's still a little work to be done. Now, we're not quite done with this one. What we're going to be doing is painting this one little panel here. I just wanted to get some painting in with you guys before we put on the decals. And then... We're going to go ahead and do our beauty shots, but, but yeah, so we're going to, you know, take care of those couple things and then, you know, we'll get our beauty shots at the end. But what we have to do after everything's said and done, and I want to practice this, we're going to weather this model still. So there will be an epilogue at some point after I've gathered some skills. Uh, there's a process of dry brushing. Um, I've watched more than a few videos on it, uh, trying to prepare for this video and I was just like, man, <clears throat> I don't think so. Uh, I don't have the proper brush. And I really need a stiff bristle brush in order to pull this off properly. So, we're not quite done here yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to finish painting up here. And then we're going to go ahead and apply our decals. So, yeah. And then we'll do our beauty at the end, which is one of my favorite things to do. And we're going to go ahead and move on to our next model. But, 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 but. We will come back to this model at some point and we're going to weather it up by doing a weather wash and then we're going to take some white and teal which i already have the paint for and a proper stiff bristle brush and we're going to do some uh picking out of our you know highlight edges where we're going to pick out and we're going to do some weathering so we're not quick done like i said but for now let's go ahead and get started with our final bit of paint so what i've done is <laughs> And the funny thing is, is, I thought that the dark part of the uh, wings here were decals. No. These are our decals. <laughs> Very small amount of decals. Um, so I was like, oh, cool, where are my decals? Oh, we're going to have to paint that. And so I went ahead and did a little bit more detail work as well. So we uh, went ahead and did the tops and the bottoms of our wings here and we got a little bit of color overflow so i need to balance out some of this uh the it's kind of cold in here and i'm wondering if my paint is not quite dry although i think after everything is said and done like when we come back and do our weathering i think we're going to come back and drop some more paint on here um as this will be kind of an unfinished model and i'll know that and i'll look at it and go okay it's I don't know if you guys can pick it up, but there's, it's cold in here, so I don't, just don't know if it's had a chance to dry or not, but, uh, you know, like dry properly and cure properly. So I'm going to give it a couple days and see what a thing, what, how it turns out, but yeah, I might drop some more paint on it when we do the, uh, the episode with the weathering. So, but I did get all of our wings taken care of. I also took, uh, some of our khaki paint. Uh, this is the first time I've actually put the Tamaya paint on and wow. <laughs> wow 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 that stuff is amazing i can't wait to use that stuff more so uh, we have some khaki paint just on the highlights uh once again i kind of just like did my own thing with this model um i thought i knew what i was doing but you know once again 
we learned and this model has taught me so much so enough about that let's go ahead and start with our paint uh, we're just using flat black and this stuff is pretty good the testers paint is interesting sometimes you get good paint sometimes you get bad paint um, this black paint is pretty good but I'm noticing with the dry that it's just not as uh, consistent as I would like so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of put the model down like that I'm gonna kind of pull it so you guys can see a little bit better I get just a point of paint and then I'm gonna go around my edges yeah I don't know, something about this paint, like, I don't know if it's just, like I said, it's cold in here. It's cold, Jerry! It's cold! Um, <laughs> uh, or if I did an inconsistent job of layering the paint, which is also very likely. Um, but, long story short, uh, we had a bit of a kitchen issue last night. Um, so the house filled up with smoke. And a day later, it is still currently smelling like smoke in here. Um, we've got all the things going that we need, but yeah, my window's been open for the last several hours. <laughs> it's cold as balls. That's all I gotta say about that. Um, that's why I'm currently wearing a hoodie, which I'm never doing in the house, but I'm wearing a hoodie. Hood's not up anymore. I closed the window for the recording, but yeah, um, cast iron gets really hot, y'all. So, simple mistake. Nothing was damaged other than, well, our stove was destroyed. So, the uh, basically it just got so hot that it uh, melted itself to. <laughs> We shouldn't have done this. We knew better. We questioned ourselves whether we should do it. But there was only a couple hour gap. We have never cooked with this pot before. Never done this before. But we uh, left it on the stove on the lowest possible setting. But it was a convection top with a uh, ceramic coated uh, cast iron. Making a stock. And... Yeah, came home, the house is full of smoke, oven's destroyed, it, it melted to the, uh, to the stove, it was super crazy, I've never seen anything like that, definitely a brown pants moment for sure. And now the house just has this awful smell of burnt ass hair. <laughs> if I'm being real, you did not know that homemade chicken stock can make that sort of smell. So, yeah, needless to say. Needless to say. It's cold. <laughs> Is it the pool, Jerry? Just trying to make sure my paint's nice and even. Worrying that maybe I had some high or low points on the other paint. It took a minute. I am going to use up my supply of testers, but I'm not going to buy it anymore. It is going to be Tamaya from here on out. I got to use it just on the one color once, and I'm like, oh my god. And it's just the one color, obviously. But that went on better than anything that I've gotten out of testers, that's for damn sure. Say it again. They used to be the gold standard back in the day. But then, as I kind of sit here and realize, it's easy to be the gold standard when you're the only one doing it. So, <laughs> I just gotta say. 
contemplated tip taping this off and airbrushing it. Um, my black airbrush paint is not the greatest quality. I bought an, an I bought like an Amazon set of airbrush paint when I first got my first airbrush, and uh, yeah, it's all right, but it takes a lot to get it going, like a lot of the uh, thinner, the medium, so to say. There's a couple other spots where I saw on the bottom as we're showing where a little bit of extra paint around. So we well, got the paint out. And before I cut all of my decals out off screen, we'll go ahead and get into the back there. take this piece here and just kind of look at it from an angle real fast to make sure once again all the paint that I can see that's over across the board. Those look good. I'm not too worried about this as we are going to be weathering up later on. All right, so that's the last bit of our paint. I'm going to go ahead and get my brush cleaned up and get my decals cut. And then we will be right back with the final little bit of our build. We'll be back. All right, so our paint is mostly dry. I didn't sit here and watch it do so. So <laughs> let's go ahead and start with the, what we have is one through 14. Uh, we're gonna be skipping over 11 because I have no idea why any would make decals that small. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead. We have our decal set solution here. I'm gonna get it on my brush here. And this stuff, this same brush that uh, you guys will see coming up here in the uh, finale of the NX01. I just want to make sure I'm going to look at my pictures here real fast. So it's going to go. Oh, how interesting. It's going to go right here. Okay. One on each side. But we're only going to do one at a time. Our decal is going to go right there. Just like that there. Well, four right there. This should be interesting trying to get this decal on here while it's sitting at that angle. We're going to be doing a lot of angled decal work here, so we shall see. Didn't even think about that. Okay. No. Mm. I'm going to have to do this one where I see it and you don't. I apologize. somehow the beauty of the set solution is you can move it I 
this up a little bit more in the back. There we go. Dry off my brush. Forgot about that portion of it. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to pull the rest of the moisture out from behind the decal. There we go. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the other side. Brush our solution. Played out for the last uh, week or so, and it's been nice. Lots of little things kind of hanging out in the house these days, and I am definitely out of room for sure. Let's see if I can do this the way I want it to go. Wow, that actually kind of worked. It's kind of amazing really hard to see actually oh my god um i'm gonna dry this off that went that's the first time that's happened to me i swear it's never happened like that um <laughs> it went it's kind of hard to see but it went exactly where i wanted it to go super dope okay now let's go ahead and do the more difficult ones here on the back side of the wings I try to very carefully set the Marauder on its side. And let's go ahead and move over to our next couple of images here. So it's going to go just along the base of the wing down here. Okay, so I'm just going to brush that on. Brush that off. Grab decal number 13. Water's pretty hot, so it only takes a second to separate from the back. There used to be some decals back in the day, boy. That would just take forever to separate, and once you finally got them off, good luck. This decal set solution, though, is pretty amazing. Kind of like that pull. Wow. <laughs> So, what the set solution does, if you guys aren't familiar, is it conditions the surface for the decal, and then when the decal is on there, it, it conforms, basically it just softens up the decal and allows it to conform to the surface if there's like a ridge surface like what we have coming up here in the NX-01 for instance. So, I am pretty impressed with how that just went down. I am really surprised by that. You know, don't brag too much, but, well, at all. And you should, people should brag. If you're skilled at something, you should be proud of your skills. But still, something that I don't do too often, but I think I'm kind of good at this thing. Getting better, for sure. Decal work used to intimidate me as a kid, guys. Like, come to the end of the model, and I'd be like, oh, decals, and this is where the model goes to crap. And sure enough, that's what happened, nine times out of ten. So, yeah, just having the proper tools and... The set solution is just amazing. Oh, buddy, god damn it. Hell yeah! Sorry. <laughs> that basically went exactly where I wanted it to go. Oh, that was fantastic. Yeah, just pulling up a little bit more. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, cool. 
basically just up a little bit more from where it was. But <laughs> that was super good. Very pleased. All right. That's super dope. And pull out the excess liquid there. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Do the same thing on this wing. And I'm gonna be trying to be a little bit careful. The paint might still be a little wet, so we'll see. picking up the next model tomorrow and uh, I'm excited for it it's a slight step up we got a couple steps up in quality and I think this is definitely a step up just more d intricate detail work is what I'm thinking is gonna be the focus of that model so we'll see okay let's see if I can get this one to do the same I'm gonna try to yeah. Oh man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was a great lay. Am I right? Nice. I didn't have to think about that one. Yeah, decal work when I was a kid was intimidating. This is wonderful. <laughs> I don't know why, but it certainly is. Maybe having the tools or the patience. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is, but yeah. this has been super good. Super pleased with how this has all turned out so far. Okay. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. So all I'm doing, I'm pulling forward and I'm using the brush with the set solution on it to just kind of hold it keep it where I want it to go and then I'm just gonna pull very nice oh man buddy yeah buddy yes oh well, this one needs a little bit of help I mean they can't all be winners can't all be winners And the beauty of this too is it allows, for whatever reason, it just kind of allows for you to be able to grab it with a pair of tweezers and manipulate it and move it without it being too much of a finicky thing. Okay, so now we are going to grab these tiny little pieces. I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. Oh my god. Yep, super tiny piece. And it's basically just like a tiny little half ring there. So, there we are. Right about that. There we go. And that's going to just go right along the front, uh, right here on the turret. So, let's see what's going on the front one here. There we go. Okay. And that's going to want to go that way, so I'm going to go ahead and switch. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Right where I wanted it to go. Fantastic news. Gosh. This is great. Okay. Go ahead and do the same thing over here on the other side. Let's slide the model over a little bit. So plenty of my solution on there. Do I? I don't. Let's make sure we do. There we go. And this solution does not mess up your paint at all. It's a type of acid.
glacial acetic acid. Is what it is. and that was pretty good. Precise. Very nice. Okay. So now, number 10, are these two tiny little dots. Now, the reason we're skipping over number 11 is they were one tiny little dot each and they wanted me to put them in very specific spots and that sure as hell is not going to happen so these ones are going to go just right here on top right in front of the silver thing that i painted there hang on make sure not to grab our 10 Go ahead and dry my brush. Kind of push it around a little bit. Just a weekly. The week fell apart in some water. <laughs> Ridiculous, I know. Uh, it's slightly off center and it's going to drive me insane, so I'm going to try to fix that. All right, so now number nine is going to go right here in between the ridge. So let's go ahead and get my solution there. It's going to go up here in the ridge. And what the decal looks like is that it's a very Star Trek esque sort of decal. Okay. Get that in the hot water for a second. Okay, let's see, get that number out of there. That's pretty smooth. Let's see if we can pull this up. I'm trying to line it right in the grooves already from the beginning. Hold it, pull it. Wow, man. Younger me, <laughs> it's perfect, dude. The younger me could see me now. That was nuts. That was perfect. Oh. I'm not to toot my horn, but God, I'm kind of toot my horn on that one. That was pretty good. Uh, that was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm stupid. <laughs> All right. So, now we are going to put our next decal, and I think it's going to be number eight, is going to go right here. So right in that slot right there dry that off and it is going to go with just making sure i got my directions going the right way gonna need to pop my the number off the end here before we get going and i don't know if i showed you guys blank memory so I'll go ahead and show that's what that one looks like go ahead and pop my number off now get that into its spot Should be able to do most of the work with the brush. Yeah. And you're kind of pulling the liquid out as you do. Yeah, that turned out really good. Go ahead and show you guys real quick. So, got up inside right there. Real nice. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side with number seven. Okay. 
I should really, if I'm going to lay my decals out, I really should just cut off my numbers. This is actually kind of rookie, rookie, rookie. Although this one I'm going to be able to pull from the other side. So I don't have to worry about that one too much. But yeah, kind of rookie. I know better. Oh, this is going really well. I thought, not to spoil anything, but I thought when I got did my decals last time that it went really well and I thought I just got lucky. Nah. I think it's this set solution plus better skills, you know, like patience or, I don't know, if Tony Stark had or Batman had a skill, it's money. And uh, I don't have that kind of money. But having the proper tools to do all of this absolutely matters. 100%. So we'll go ahead and slide that back. Yeah, see how it just kind of slides in there? And what happens is the acid just kind of goes away. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and stay over on this side. We're going to go ahead and skip over five, or do, skip over six, excuse me. We're going to do number five while we're on this side. We're getting close to the end here, folks. I've already finished one. We're getting close to the end here, folks. Our second official model on screen finished. Joining the Venator, and it's kind of cool that the Marauder, Marauder and the Venator join each other because, man, let me tell you, I, I constantly mix up the names of the two for whatever dumb reason. And what this one looks like is that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that's what we're looking at right there. So this one's just going to go right there. I'm going to go ahead and get my number out of the way. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. Seems a little funny. No hurt, no foul, though. Everything's good. There it is. I have to resist the urge to touch it with my fingers. Last thing you ever want to do. Touch a decal with your fingers. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. Do I have enough of my solution? I do. And whatever this is, it does gum up your uh, brush. So it's something to be conscious of if you guys are going to pick this up. Um, I have a dedicated brush for this one. Okay, so now, oh, is this one going to go that way? How interesting. Okay. That slid into place, there we go. Let's see if I can do this with the brush. Nope, yep, yep. There it is. Nice. <laughs> All right. Down to four. And these two are coming up here. So four and two are going to go along the inside here. And there's an extraordinarily like small spot. And I've done some small decals, but this one's going to be an interesting one. So I get our set solution in there. And on this side is going to be, let me go back to our previous page, number four is going to be that side, so perfect. Let's go ahead, I wasn't sure what to do with my hands there for a second. And the flat part, and this one took me a second to figure out where it's going to go, and that's what it looks like. And it just lines the inside of the window. So I'll show you guys, basically, it's gonna go right inside here. 
So it's an interesting spot for sure. So let's go ahead and dip. Weirdly, that's in a weird spot. But hold on. Oh, <laughs> that almost went. So, kind of show you guys as I'm doing it. I have to lift it up so you can see that one. Remarkably, basically went in place, although it's sitting over on the other side now. I can't, nah. Young me, you'd be so proud. It was one of the many reasons actually why I stopped modeling was the decals were super frustrating. Okay, so while we're over here on this side, we're gonna go ahead and get our second to last panel, which is gonna be number three, and it's gonna go just sitting right here. And then number three looks like that. And it's going to sit. How does it sit? I see. So it's going to sit just like that. So I need to move my number out of the way. Yeah. Like this actually went pretty quick. I was kind of surprised. Uh, last time I did decals, it took a little bit longer. I was a little bit uh, timid. So definitely skills learned here for sure. So. All right, that one didn't quite go where I wanted it to, but the beauty of it is that Because of the set solution, you can make it go exactly where you want it to go. And then it dries there quickly. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get our second to last decal in place. I think I need to get some more set solution before. Yeah, wow. Use a lot of this stuff. Get that one, that funny one in the corner. I'm just going to go ahead and get that there too. That way I can get my brush right off. And let's go ahead. I did, unfortunately, I wonder how this is going to turn out. I, uh, I'll show you guys. When I was cutting my decals, I overcut. And yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to finish cutting that. That's just not going to turn out at all. It's cut all the way through. Yeah, that's done. <laughs> oh man, it's okay. It's okay. So. Yeah. Younger me would be proud. I want to soak for just a little second longer. literally stuck on the side of my brush so we're gonna paint it on so I'll show you kind of guys kind of show you guys what I'm doing here I need to see and I'll probably make you guys see a little bit better let's slide that forward that right down all right that's put in place oh my friends our last step 
This has been a cool build. And I almost spilled water everywhere on the very last step. <laughs> nah, this has been a really, really cool build. And I really appreciate you guys joining me for this journey on this one. This is the completion of our very first model build on camera. Outside of the Venator, which doesn't really count because that was made out of paper. This was stuck to sprues. Separated everything, painted everything, and made it mine. So let's go ahead and get our <laughs> let's go ahead and get our last piece on here. And there it is. Get all of our sticky little pieces out of the way there. Let's see if I can't get this manipulated into place there it is get it lined up with the other one although i would say that this would be served just as well if i was being real by painting so i'll probably pay attention to that again in the future because i could probably make it a little bit nicer so now I'm going to take a totally dry brush. I'm going to go over all of my decals. And I'm going to push down and pull away. What this is going to do is it's going to pull out all the rest of the, the set solution. One. And then two, as you can see there, We'll kind of give you a before and after so you guys can see there where I've pushed down versus where I haven't. The detail has gone into play and there's still like a lot of liquid left over on the other side. So I'm going to do the same thing here. And we're just pulling out all the excess liquid. I'm going to let this dry for about an hour before I beauty shot it. We'll be editing in that short time frame. <laughs> Got a lot of editing to do on this one. Well, not really. Got a lot of editing to do just kind of in general right now. All right. Oh, my friends. So with that being said, look at that. She's done. And that looks really good. With the, with the decals, I gotta say, let me go ahead and cinch this up here so I don't spill and make a catastrophe of a mess. Go ahead and clean our little piece of paper up. Just as weirdly slippery as they were before in the past. Well, my friends, there it is. And that looks really good. Um, I gotta say, you know, it's a little damp, but the detail overall, it turned out really well. Um, I've really enjoyed building this model. I've enjoyed learning so much that this model has had to teach and yeah it's kind of cool like you know like i said we're not quite done yet we have a little bit more time to spend with this one a little bit later on down the line after i've had a chance to do some practicing because i want to do my paint right so there it is my friends the havoc marauder from the bad batch is complete they have a place to live because you know camino <laughs> kind of gone damn you Am admiral rampart so that being said i want to thank you so much for watching this i want to thank you guys so much for watching this series uh i know that there was a million things y'all could have done and you spent some time with me over the last month and a half building this model and watching me do so and i think that's pretty awesome if you guys do have any tips, tricks, questions, or comments, please leave them down below. If you'd like to support the channel, please like and subscribe. And as we cut to our little beauty shot here, I just want to say thank you. And I hope you all have a wonderful day in this beautiful world, wherever you happen to be. And just remember that the Force will be with you always. <laughs>